Well, bless the Lord, everybody. Everybody, bless the Lord. Good to be here with the one time to share the gospel of Christ. To encourage your most holy faith in the Lord. Hope you're ready for another round in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lift those hands to the Lord and let's just acknowledge Him in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for another day, Father. Thank you for another occasion to be here to give you praise and to give you glory. Hallelujah. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Lift us to a higher place. Hallelujah. Higher place of fellowship and renewal and commitment. Hallelujah. And communion with you and your presence through your Holy Spirit. Thank you for what you have done, for what you are doing and for what you are about to do. We yield ourselves as vessels to be used by you today. Hallelujah. Be glorified, O oh God. Let your praises, your knowledge of your glory cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. And be magnified in our midst as we give it the praise and the glory. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Come on, give him the praise in our Hallelujah. You ready to praise him here?
on, give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He brings joy to my soul. What about you? Hallelujah. God has been so good. One songwriter said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank God for saving me. And it's a wonderful thing to be free from sin and have Christ within all this the world and it's all its lust and desires will pass away but the word of God is eternal and those that hold on to the word and believe the word and practice the word will gain eternal life come on somebody and it's a wonderful thing to serve him and know that life amen praise God want to hear some testimony in the house bless the Lord hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, church. I just want to give God thanks for keeping me and protecting me, for giving me the opportunity to be here and get the word from the apostle. Um, I've been staying connected. I've been listening to the word. I've been growing more in him. Um, also been taking advantage of having the apostle at home living with me. So I've been asking him Amen. some questions. <laughs> you know, something I should be doing ages ago. Right? Mm -hmm. I just want to thank God for that. Um, just needed some clarification on some things and I just want to thank him. I thank you, Apostle, Praise for giving God. me the word and for being patient with me. Amen. Mm -hmm. I just want to thank you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, my son. Praise God. That's my boy. <laughs> Praise God. God is good and all the time he is good. If we stay connected and in the word, great results will come and it is a sure thing. It's not a if, a but, or maybe. The results are sure. We are not testing the word to see if it works. The word has always worked. As long as we connect with the word and believe in the Lord and mix the word with faith, it will produce corresponding results in us. Amen. Praise God. Any more testimony in the house? Bless the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Praise the God, Lord. God is good. I, I, I love God. And, and as Apostle says, you know, when we just stay in the word and stay with God, the results will show. Um, I remember um, Apostle and I were here. And what we do in the days after morning teaching, we listen to the service before, the night before, you know, and just sit and listen to the word of God. Because when he's preaching and I'm there, um, um, doing media work and stuff. Sometimes you don't get a chance to hear everything. So mm -hmm. I listen back in the in the days. And when when we're, he was talking about um, Deuteronomy 8, where Moses was saying to the Israelites, "You went through the wilderness for 40 years, and your clothes did not wear out, and your feet were your feet were not swollen, and God took care of them." And I never really took time to think about that going 40 years mm. through the wilderness and not having a, a clothes store or somewhere you can mm. buy clothes and their clothes did not wear out and mm. it was the day before I, I went into my closet and I looked at it and I said yes I need some new clothes <laughs> and I was looking at it and then when I heard that I'm like yes God and so while we're talking about that the next day the Lord gave me some new clothes. I'm like shirts and pants and shorts. And I was like, I was looking at it and said, God, you provide. And God just provide. And when I, when I look back, I say, even the clothes that I have, they are not worn out. They are not, they are not torn. And some, some of them, I've had them for years. But God keeps providing and God keeps me. And I remember even this week, I said, you know, um, I know this weekend is going to be a hectic one with bills and rent and all those things coming up. And I was like, I don't want to go into my account too early to take out any money because I know I have a hectic weekend. When I came down here, you know, I got some money so I did not have to go into my account midweek. So God knows what we need as Jesus said. Your heavenly father knows those things that you have need of. But you must first seek his kingdom and his righteousness. And it, 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 it blows my mind every time when I sit here, listen to the word, do what God says. Even the things that I would have been otherwise minded trying to care for, God takes care of them. 
Yes, yes. He takes care of them. He takes care of my son. And that doesn't mean that I'm neglecting my duty as a father. I still take care of him. But God takes care of him better than I can take care of him. Yes. And God takes care of me better than if I was out there working and hustling, trying to care for myself. Mm -hmm. So it just shows that we need to put our trust in God. Because mm -hmm. I wasn't even mindful that, yeah, I know I, I really want some clothes, but I'm not mindful. I say, how am I going to get it? And the Lord knew that, and he sent them for me. So I'm giving God thanks for his provision. And it goes to show that when we focus on him, God cannot lie. If he said, if you focus on him, these things will be added to you. Food come, everything that I need comes. Because I set my mind on the kingdom and, and, and doing what God wants me to do. And there's greater things to come because he said, eyes have not seen, nor has it entered into the heart of man, the things that God has in store, but his spirit is revealing them to us day yes, by day. Yes. So he's taking us into them. So they are being revealed, the things that he has for us. And it is the word of God, and we are being taught the word of God here. Mm -hmm. So I give God thanks for that. And as um, Brother Joshua said, you know, it's good to have a, an apostle teaching you and and, and giving you the word and that level of grace and anointing. It is, it is something that is spectacular. And we need to just take full advantage of what God is doing right now. Praise God. Come on, give God a praise. Glory to God. And it's always good to obey the Lord. Yeah? It's not just hearing what the Lord is saying. But it's obeying. And while you're obeying... The things that we need comes into the path of us obeying God. Once we are doing what he tells us to do, he will take care of the other things that need to be done. Because he's not telling you to take care of this and then leave you abandoned with that. He, he cares for the whole man. And he does show that in everything that he does. Amen. Praise God. Any more testimony in the house? You want to hear them? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You are on bench for almost here. The testimonies of what God has done. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Um, I want to thank Apostle for teaching and guidance every week and every Sunday. Yes, sir. Um, God has done good things for me. He provided clothes on my back, shoes on my feet, and... Uh, a shelter so God I must give God thanks and prayers yes sir and that is good to give him thanks praise God as one time he didn't have that and was on the street and God took him off the street hallelujah and give him place to stay and food and shelter come on and family caring again and that is good huh praise God so God is working and we believe that whatever it does to us we have to share and tell others because somebody need to know somebody who might be homeless someone who might be in a position where it seems like they're abandoned and forsaken need to hear oh god pick someone and take them off out of that position and put them in a position of safety and care and provision and god that is something to give him thanks for amen the more testimony in the house when you hear them Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Good morning, church. Good. Hallelujah. I love the Lord, and the Lord has loved me. Yes, sir. I love you. Thanks and praises to Apostle. Yes, sir. Good morning. You teach me the right things, and I have the mm. faith in the Lord, so I'm just trying to be up fully more in the Lord. Yes, sir. And keep him for my life. Yes, sir. Keep him for my life. Definitely. Praise, Praise God. The word does do that. Because the word of God says we do not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And there's one just speaking to you that when he just came, he was rushing near death. But God has strengthened him, revived him, and sustained his life through the word. Coming and hearing the word, the word is like medicine to his flesh, medicine to his body, and it is kept him, and it's still keeping him, and it's also a good word for those who are watching who may be sick and getting some report from the doctor that is not sounding encouraging at all. 
you can just start to key in on the word key in on the program and listen to the teaching of the word i tell you the word of god it declares that the word of god is like medicine hallelujah it's healing to the bones and to the flesh and so just sitting and hearing the word does something to you hallelujah more than just your soul and spirit but even your body can be healed by just hearing and believing the word praise god and so i encourage you to do so as you have just heard mr turner testified about praise god hallelujah and you will see greater work in your life too testimony hallelujah you want to hear more in the house hallelujah everybody ought to know who jesus is praise god hallelujah hallelujah yes, good morning church good morning i just want to give god thanks for keeping me yes sir for making me comfortable yes and feeding me yes sir and when i went to the doctor the other day he told me that my brain is messed up mm. the stroke has messed up my brain so i must stay home i tell him i can't stay home if <laughs> i stay home i'm gonna get mad <laughs> so he said all right but well, you need to stay home but you know i can't stay home like that because when i want to listen to the word of god i have to come here to get it yes sir so I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. And the word of God does work. Hallelujah. Uh, they have had him off work. I think it was two years they told him not to work because of some mental breakdown and, and some sickness in his body. Amen. But, but God is keeping him through the word. And the, the word of God does, does work on the spirit, on the mind, on the flesh, and on the soul works on the whole man in fact the word of god says that the word of god is quick and powerful and what sharper than any twisted sword it said go between bone and marrow speaking of the flesh and it says it's a discerner between the the, the, the thought the, the soul and the spirit it goes between the word and the spirit and also is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart as it referring to the mind so it refers to soul, spirit, and body. The word of God ministers on every level. Praise God. And that's why the Lord says, we are not made to live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. And so we encourage you to get into the word. Hallelujah. And know what the will of the Lord is. Hallelujah, for there is power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Are we going to worship a little bit more here and then get into the word that God has given us today? You ready for that today? Praise God. Come on, stand in one more time. Hallelujah. Just lift those hands to the Lord. And let's just worship Him. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want to worship the Lord with all of my heart, giving my own, and I'm just a part of my hand.
Come on, somebody. You got to worship him in the house. Come on, give him worship.